Yes, I'm going to have an examination work at the university and I'm going to build a, a wheel sledge with electric motor. This is a pretty interesting thing. And yes, and almost everything in this uh, thing that I'm building is so oversized like this you can see here. With some real huge IGBTs and fire resistors. Those are fire resistors, those are IGBTs. And the power is 12, 12 volt batteries. In uh, six of them in uh, para in series, of course, and uh, two banks in parallel. So yes, 12, 12 volt batteries. We got 72 volts. The motors are 60 volts. And I'm going to do a steering and everything with a PlayStation uh, controller like this one, which doesn't work. So this is a bit uh, special to have a bloody play PlayStation controller. There is no steering wheel on that. There are two motors on the back. And just like steering, you just drive one motor faster than the other one and it will steer in the, that way. So yes, oversized to maximum. There, it will not go so fast. You have a huge reduction gear. So yes, it, the reduction gear is like 25 to 1. So the motor has to spin 25 times to the wheel to spin one turn. So yes, this is so oversized, but it's funny. And it's 72 volts. So you need a special regulator to turn it down to like 24 volts and another regulator to turn it down to 12 volts. And we need a special, special charger as well, like that one. And some Arduino that uh, controls everything. And we got need a bunch of uh, current sensors to see how much current uh, different units draw. And for the charging unit, I will use three of these uh, 5 volt, 5, 5 volt, 5 amp, 24 volt power supplies in series. So yes, you can actually connect them in series and get some more uh, voltage. So yes, this will be a bit fun project, but this is uh, not the subject of the video. The subject of this video is to have a look at the endoscope. So yes, here we got the endoscope. I have uh, removed the other things. So yes, it's a... Uh, Exteria to Avis made by Olympus. Got some uh, type numbers here. Yes, this endoscope has two parts. This part here is very connected to the supply, and we got here some uh, power pins. And here we got the light source, and here's a pipe that so you can uh, put some uh, air or water into it. And this one. Cable goes to the other part, which is here. And this is what we're going to have a look at. I think it's a bit hard to open this thing up. It's completely sealed because you actually need to clean this in a special uh, washer. So yes, this is the part here that you put up in the hole that you want to have a look at. Maybe the mouth or uh, the other part. And they have a special uh, thing you can pull over this, like a condom. Because you don't want this uh, to be dirty. This is a braid of uh, some titanium mesh. Here you got two fiber optics and one camera and a hole. This hole is a bit special because you can actually put the tools and uh, special uh, tweezers through them. There's a corresponding hole here that you can put your tools in and it has a pretty large pipe. It, it runs all the way here and out of the hole in there. So if I shine a laser on the supply here, this green one, you can see we've got some light here. We have two holes. Maybe if I do something like that. And you can see here, it's blinking, so fiber optics in there. So there's no light source in here, it's just the fiber optics. If I look on the connector here, you can see we've got a lot of pins here, 
and these are coaxials. This is a coaxial as well, which is a bit special. I think this that's when it's go to to the camera. I don't know really what it needs so much coaxials or connectors for really. And this is some screw that holds everything together, or maybe it's a potentiometer. There's a fiber optic light source. The light source is shining into the fiber optic here. And here's the other part. We've got two connectors here for putting different fluids in. And here's the hole that you can put your tool in. The long wire, of course. And here we've got some uh, push buttons. Because when I've connected in this thing here, you're not going to touch any of these. You're only going to have your hands on this thing here, maybe one hand on the hose and your eyes on the display. Just put it together like this, because this one does just want to like roll away. This knob is here. You can actually, you can see there, I can change the position on the end. It's much easier to find, to make it go better for the intestines without putting any stress on the intestine walls. It's like some kind of uh, worm. It would be pretty interesting to actually hack the camera to actually connecting this thing to a monitor. And you can put this in some uh, like uh, drain pipes or very places that is hard to see and actually use this because it's a pretty good unit. I'm going to put a copper wire through this. It's very smoothly. It's a very good uh, like a tube that I've used here. It goes very smoothly through. No resistance, it's a little bit of resistance, but not so much. Even if the wire is like twisted like that, it will soon come out. Yes, there we go. Now it's coming out. Almost. It's a bit hard, the last part is a bit harder. But yes, now it's coming out like that. And it's much easier to put it in here while there are fluids in the actual pipe. Yes, you can still move around. But it's a bit harder. So, and you actually still got plenty of room here to put fluids or air in here. Through the same pipe. Now I open it up a bit, on the side here, now I think that it actually needs some regulators here that they are missing, I think I have taken those away. They can adjust the, the water flow or the air flow through this pipe here. Yes, there looks pretty amazing how they have made that. These flexible pipes here, tubes. Got some earthing pins here. We can do some uh, close ups. So, as you can see it a bit better, here's one pipe or tube that goes into this regulator here. The knob is missing, and, uh, and after the knob, it should be supposed to go into that pipe here, the tube. And here's another one, slightly bigger tube here. And here you can see the switch. Here's some uh, miscellaneous component. I removed the plastic here, and here we can see the pipes, the tubes here. We got some more uh, tubes here. There are pretty many tubes that goes into that. Here's the larger one. We can put some instruments and uh, tweezers into the larger hole. And if I look on the other side of it, and here we can see these strings here that are controlling the head. If I move around these knobs here, they're coming backwards and forwards. And we've got two more on the other side. 
here we can see we have this head here as well you can see here it moves around So yes, an endoscope is pretty advanced. So now it's back together again. It was a pretty, pretty hard to get this piece here back, back in there. I need to use a lot of lubrication to do that. So of course, this is an endoscope. You need to have some lubrication to get it in. So yes, but this one was a very hard. And yes, and all other things are back together. I don't know really why they have thrown this thing away. Maybe something was wrong with it. Or maybe you need something here on this one. But yes, it's, it still works quite good mechanically. Electrically, I don't know. I haven't figured out where the connections are going with this uh, connector here. So yes, uh, maybe some uh, electric feeding for the camera and the coaxial uh, cable. Yes, but anyway, now it's back together and just waiting for be hacked, which is not coming soon. Hope you found this video interesting. Any questions, please comment. Thanks for watching.